yeah, the whole Mudok and Adore wasn't working. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another review of Alchemy of Souls. This was a good episode, but this whole thing was motivated by romance and dirty jokes. And also, you can use the Ice Stone to make someone born? Let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. So first, let's start with Jinmu picking Soi to be the fake Buyon. Well, he did pick her, but then found out she could see, then wanted her dead, but then she begged, saying that she'll do the job. If Jinmu picks Soyi to be the fake Buyon, then who was that other blind girl from the last episode? Soyi's first mission, being the fake Buyon, is to bring Lady Jin to Jinmu so Jinmu can reveal the Ice Stone to the world. I think it was pretty obvious that Jinmu had the Ice Stone. I mean, the queen is on his side. She's using the Ice Stone to make soul ejectors, and they have a lot of them. So Jiangang used the Ice Stone to make Buyon born? So apparently, Lady Jin was pregnant at the time with Buyon, but Buyon wasn't coming out, and she was pregnant for 13 months. That's unbelievable. Even our current time, that's unbelievable. Man, the power that this stone has, it's, it's limitless. The fact that Jiang Gang used the Ice Stone to make someone born, that must have a side effect. Which is convincing me that Mudok could be Buyon. What if she was blind because of the Ice Stone? Now, the majority of this episode was motivated by romance. Mostly between Uk and Mudok, but let's get the others out of the way first. With Yul, he pretty much confessed in this episode, saying that the whistle that he gave to a friend he failed to confess his feelings to, and tells Mudok he likes her. Well, I should say Naksu. And then next, my favorite comedy love triangle between Teacher Lee, Pak Jin, and Do Yu. I found it so hilarious that Teacher Lee got upset with Master Ho when he flicked kimchi sauce onto the scarf that Do Yu gave him. And then later on in the episode, when Pak Jin was a little sad that Do Yu didn't come by to see him as often as she did, and when he found out that she was seeing a younger guy, you know, he wanted to check up on her. And he saw his shoes. Oh, the shoes. He says, hmm, his shoes is smaller than mine, which means he is shorter than I am. Now, you can take that literally or as a metaphor. That's up to you. And that wasn't the only dirty joke they did. Remember that one scene where Douyu was talking to Yunok? Yunok's maid told Douyu that he made Yunok busy for four hours. And then we get to Uk, who was pretty much jealous for the majority of this episode. Because he was jealous, he started to act lazy and not train anymore. So he found out that Yul and Mudok were hanging out and then he started to reflect all of the times that Yul and Mudok were together and started to reflect when Mudok turned him down at the beginning of this episode. Yeah, the whole Mudok antidote wasn't working. And because of him acting lazy, this leads to the bet. So Mudok made a bet with the crown prince that Uk can beat at least one person at their school. If Uk loses all of his fights, then he gives up the jade item that he gave Mudok. This made Uk a little bit pissed off. And at first, I wasn't too keen on this bet that she made behind his back. But then the more I thought about it, well, it makes sense. This way, he can fight, train, and stop acting like a little bit. Pardon my language. Lazy. And so far, he lost the majority of his fights. I think he has, what, like three more left. So this episode was good. They really have been focusing on romance a lot lately. I mean, not just for a couple of episodes, probably maybe three or four. Well, just as long as they're using it to to progress the storyline, I'm okay with that. And romance is part of the storyline. I still think that Mudok is Buyon. It makes sense. I mean, because of the information we got that Jiang Gang used the Ice Stone to make Buyon born, the Ice Stone might have had a side effect on the baby, which... Which, well, this is just a theory. Maybe the Ice Stone made Mudok blind. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode and my review. Is there anything I might have missed? Please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.